Well, Botswana's president, Ian Kama, officially steps down on Saturday and then hands over the reins to his deputy. Yes, Kama visited all of Botswana's 57 constituencies since December, bidding a long goodbye to a population of just over 2.2 million after serving the constitutional maximum of 10 years as president. President Ian Kam of Botswana this week wrapped up a national farewell tour before he stands down on Saturday in a power transfer designed to stress his statesmanship and the country's stability. <laughs> Thousands of jubilant villagers dressed in blue, white and black gathered in a huta, a traditional courtyard, to hear Kama speak. I was a soldier. I didn't have any interest in joining politics. I had future plans away from politics. Former President Festus Mohai approached me and convinced me to join politics. Now Botswana is convincing me that I should become a farmer with all the animals that have been gifted to me. He will be succeeded by Vice President Mohwezi Masisi a full 18 months before elections. I chose him because he is a very intelligent person. He is an expert in governance, a politician of note, and is a cultural expert. He knows Botswana's traditions, cultures, and everything. He is knowledgeable. He has never disappointed me, not even once. Kama's two terms in power have been defined by his country's rapid development thanks to lucrative diamond and beef exports and by a reputation for good governance. He has also become renowned for straight talking, breaking with diplomatic convention to criticize leaders including US President Donald Trump and then President Robert Mugabe in neighboring Zimbabwe. Compassionate, he, he helped each and everyone, whether you are poor or you are rich or you are sick, disabled, he is just there for you. But his own record in office has not been without critics who accuse him of an autocratic leadership style. He led the ruling Botswana Democratic Party to landslide victories in two elections, although the party won less than 50% for the first time in the 2014 vote. Party Kama 65 has cultivated a down-to-earth image, despite his father Seretse Kama serving from 1966 to 1980 as Botswana's first president after independence from Britain.